Hi everybody, welcome back. I was looking through my recent uploads and it's been about seven weeks since my last Cezanne try-on, so we are well overdue this video today. I have some pieces from the Cezanne Editions capsule, so the occasion wear line to show you, and then just some spring new in as well. So it's a little bit of a mishmash of items today, but I have quite a few pieces to show you, so let's just jump straight on into it. Before we get into the Cezanne pieces, I wanna quickly mention the sponsor of today's video. I was so excited when they reached out because I am always up for discovering new Parisian French brands, and this is another one that was new to me. They are not new though, they've been around for a good, Kind of 30 years or so so they are well established in the bag sphere and they make beautiful leather bags so i really wanted to tell you about them in case you hadn't heard of them either so the brand is called jack gom and they make leather bags as i said in quite unusual colors and shapes so do check out their website because I've just got one bag to show you today, but they do a whole array of other leather bags. They do those sling bags that are really popular at the moment. They do tote bags, they do backpacks, all sorts of things. But this bag in particular really stood out to me because you guys know I love a woven leather bag. So this is the bag that they sent me. I will put the details of the name and the materials. It also comes in a couple of different other colors. I believe in it comes in a really pretty sage green and also maybe a white as well. I went with the brown just because it's very classic, very easy to pair with a lot of my outfits. And it's a stunning tote bag. So it's in this woven leather. I believe it is a coated leather. So as you can see, it's got a sheen to it like many of their bags do. And it makes it really practical for the purpose I wanted it for. So I primarily wanted this for like an all purpose tote. Some days it might be to carry my laptop in, some days it might be to take down to the beach or the pool so I really wanted something that was waterproof and could really easily be cleaned and this does exactly that although it is 100% leather it is coated so you can really easily clean it up and make it look brand new and you don't have to worry about getting watermarks or stains on it the inside as well so it has these straps these are leather as well in this light brown shade it's got a tie closure which is really nice as well because it makes it feel a little bit more secure for a tote bag you know it can be quite easy for people to reach their hands in but because it has this tie you can kind of secure it tight so this is also leather so all of the features on the bag are also leather and then when you open it up it did also come with its own dust bag so i just have this inside the bag but let me show you so you can see the branding so that is the branding jack gom paris so they are designed and made in france which i think is so great because that is really rare these days to find a brand that is still designing and producing its products in its home country in france so i really love that lovely dust bag and then the inside is again quite a practical fabric fabric it's like this cotton canvas fabric um it's got a leather leather pocket in the same woven leather it's gonna be really hard to show you but it's got a leather pocket here in the same woven leather and otherwise it is just a big open tote it's a really nice size this could easily fit pretty much any laptop i would say because it is definitely big enough um yeah perfect i'm gonna be taking this to the pool and to the beach all summer long i love that i don't have to fuss with it i don't have to baby it but it is a little bit more elevated than a gym bag or something that um, is practical but not very stylish. I feel like this covers both. It's both practical and really chic as well. I will style this up for you with a couple of the outfits I'm showing today just so you can get an idea of what it looks like all together with a complete um, outfit. So it's also got this little tag on here. This is the branding. Again, it says Jack Gone Paris, made in France. Of course, I couldn't mention a French brand without giving you a little bit of a discount code to use if you're interested. So if you use the code Katie10, you can get 10% off your first order. I will leave the details of my bag as well as their website where you can browse the rest of their collection down below. Thank you very much to Jack Gom for sponsoring. Now let's get straight into the Cezanne pieces. First up is a dress that I tried last year and I ended up sending back and then subsequently have not been able to stop thinking about. So I ordered it again to try on, even though I still don't really need this dress and I probably won't end up keeping it. I just really, it's haunted me for about a year now. So I had to try it again for you. Plus, if you're new here, if you're new to Cezanne, you may not be familiar. This was released last year. They've released it again this year. It's called the Jenna dress. It's a really beautiful white dress. It's a stretchy material. So it's more of a bodycon style and it's almost a maxi length, not quite like a mid axi length. It's got these pretty fluttery sleeves and this really, really nice, slightly sheer lace. And then quite a deep V. Some people ask me how low cut it is and it is more on the low 
low cut side so I would be careful it's fine with me and I can wear a bra with it actually if you're really big or busted I'm not sure how it would work it's got a few buttons running down the front as well they're kind of pearlescent buttons they're very pretty ones actually and it's quite a light tone as you can see I'm wearing this is a true white and it is almost a true white it's just ever so slightly off-white but it's nowhere near the beigey tone that Suzanne often does so I really like that about it I really like this a bit whiter bit brighter than some of their other ecru items I love this dress I think it's so beautiful if you have an occasion to wear this too I would grab this because it sold out last year I, I don't actually know if it's sold out at the moment but either way it's also lined um, so you don't have to worry about it being sheer but because it is white and it is tight you do have to be kind of careful with what you wear underneath but you can definitely make it work and yeah it does have a full lining as well so that's really nice to see next up is a jacket that I could not resist ordering to try on I have seen quite a few people wearing this and I just think it is absolutely beautiful can't remember the name of this jacket um, unfortunately when I was trying it on the label fell off so I don't know if they're gonna allow me to return this now because the label is detached um, which is slightly problematic because I don't think I want to keep it but anyway this is a beautiful jacket I love the color scheme in this jacket it's got like a lavender I would call this like almost like a lavender blue it's got pops of burgundy in it which I love because it goes really well with all of my burgundy bags when I wear this bag with this jacket I just think that's a match made in heaven with the pops of burgundy um so I love that about it and then it's got some green in it and it's got some it's got a white background as well I love this jacket I think it's such a statement I like a statement jacket as you can see with what I'm wearing now um the only thing the only thing with this jacket is the comfort comfortability of it and the thickness of the sleeves I almost wish they'd made this jacket as a vest as like a padded quilted vest rather than having sleeves because the body of it is fine I think it um it fits well it's comfortable it's not too thick so you can definitely wear it in the spring and in the autumn but the sleeves are quite restrictive and when you're moving your arms you don't have like a full range of mo motion so yeah that's that's my issue with it but I might be forced to keep it if they don't let me return it um either way it's very pretty I love the color scheme as I said it also has a belt so you can nip it in at the waist if you want you can tie it it does slightly give kind of short dressing gown vibes if you do that because it's padded and it's thick and it's this kind of embroidered material but I don't really mind I like an embroidered jacket I think it's really cool and you can also wear it open and I do actually think that it looks quite nice open as well it's not one of those jackets that you have to wear belted for it to look right you can wear it either way and I think it works so yeah a beautiful jacket just be cautious it's definitely on the thicker side it's definitely um it's, it's fully cotton so it's a really nice fabric but yeah it's a little bit you feel a little bit robotic in it because you, you can't move a hundred percent fully moving on to another white dress this one is definitely more cream than white as you can see uh referencing my top definitely more on the cream yellow side this is the wanda dress i've actually tried this dress last year there's quite a theme i've tried a few of these pieces last year and i tried it in a purple that one was viscose this one is silk i love this one so much more it's lighter it's not as wrinkly as the viscose i found the viscose one a little bit hard to steam it, it kind of still looked a bit wrinkled whereas the silk i just find silk so nice to steam it's so satisfying all the wrinkles just fall out beautifully it is lined so it's not sheer it's not too see-through and it has this really gorgeous tie shoulder i always feel like i tie it a little bit awkwardly and it doesn't look quite as nice as it's tied on the website however i feel like if you spend a little bit more time perfecting the bow then you can get it to look nice this one it's, it's also a uh, one shoulder so this is not a strap um uh it's very pretty i get mine in a size down i get this in a size 36 a uk 8 because i found when i tried the 10 last year it was quite roomy um so i definitely would recommend if you're smaller busted or you're between sizes i would size down in this one because it's so flowy in the body that you don't really need any extra room um so yeah it's really beautiful it has a polka dot design on it um in this kind of jacquard burnout polka dot really subtle very pretty again similar to the jenna dress if i had an excuse to wear this an occasion to wear this then i would absolutely keep it i think it's a beautiful dress but it's just not very wearable practical for day-to-day -day life 
This top is from the Suzanne Editions collection as well, but this is definitely more wearable, more casual, but still very pretty. It's a simple lace blouse. Um, it's a really nice design, actually. It's white, but because it has this lace overlay on it, it's not too sheer, so you can get away with just wearing nude underwear underneath this. It is long sleeved. What I really like about it is the silhouette, actually, because it's slightly shorter, it's on the crop side. It just pairs perfectly with high-waisted trousers or a high-waisted skirt and or shorts. Um, it doesn't come up too high, but you also don't have to tuck it in for that reason, because it's just the right length. I got mine in a size eight, so I sized down in this one and I'm glad I did. It's definitely on the roomy side. It's got the long sleeves, but they come in at the cuffs with these pretty gold buttons. And then the gold buttons are also on the back as well, which I love. I have actually seen some people on Instagram styling this with the buttons at the front. So I think you can do that. You do have the label at the back, but other than that, you could definitely wear it either way. So a little bit more versatility. It's a really lovely blouse. I think it paired really nicely, as I said, with high-waisted wide leg trousers or jeans or a skirt. And because it's white, it is quite versatile. It's not something I really need. I have a top quite similar to this actually already, so I won't be keeping this one. But I did want to show you, it does come with a matching skirt, or I should say you can buy a matching skirt separately. However, I didn't try that one. I didn't think it looked like it would fit me because it isn't stretchy. Um, so I didn't try that one, but you could buy the matching set if you wanted. Again, it is quite fancy, it is white, so you kind of have to have the right occasion to wear this. But equally, I do think the top on its own can be dressed down with just a pair of jeans and look quite casual. That top actually looks really nice paired with these trousers. So these are the Melchior trousers, I believe they're pronounced. They're a similar design to the Matthew trousers, which I already own and love. So I really wanted to try these to see if the fit was the same and to see if I liked them as much. These are, these are obviously in a bright, vivid, I would call this an aubergine purple for sure. Um, they are a viscose polyester blend. So the Matthew trousers are merino wool. These are not, unfortunately. They feel a little bit stretchier than the Matthew because of that. But other than that, the fit feels exactly the same. So if you own the Matthew trousers and you're interested in these, pick the same size because the fit is identical and the length is identical as well. These, one are, these ones are a little bit more fancy than the Matthew, which are quite plain. They, these ones have a scalloping along the waistline and they have this pointel. I think it's called pointel design um so little holes running down vertically along the trousers um very nice but otherwise they're pretty simple they do come in an ecru as well which i love and are really beautiful but i would just imagine would be quite see-through so i didn't go for those but i do really like the eggplant purple as well another dress to show you a bit more casual than the first two this one is the Merrill dress it's in the color marine really pretty navy blue it has these fabric covered buttons that stop here you might not be able to see them on the camera because it's quite dark but um they stop here and then the dress is ribbed all the way down vertically and it goes again to like a mid axi length it's not quite midi it's not quite maxi it is long sleeved now the one thing i would say about this dress is that it's very thick it's very thick for a spring summer dress. I feel like this should have been released in autumn. I can definitely see myself wearing this in autumn winter with a coat and boots, but I can't necessarily see myself wearing it in spring summer because it is just long sleeved, dark and quite thick and chunky. I got mine in a size medium and I would actually say this one's a little bit big. Usually I'm in between a medium and a large in these kind of things. And the medium also almost feels quite roomy. It's stretchy, so it kind of molds to your body, but it almost feels like it's not as flattering um as like something like the jenna because it is um a little bit bigger so it's not forming to my body quite as much it might just be because it's thicker as well so it's a little bit yeah it's not as like smooth in its fit so i didn't love the fit as much i don't really think it's seasonally appropriate unfortunately but if you're in the southern hemisphere or a much colder climate we are stocking up for autumn winter and I do think it's a very pretty dress. Next up I have this dress which is just impossible to show you um, off the body so I will just show you it on but this is the Layla dress in this green. It's a pleated polyester because that is the only way you can hold these pleats is if the dress is made of polyester. Um, backless really gorgeous halt neck dress. I tried this again last year in the fuchsia loved it i only didn't keep it because i had no occasions for it and same with this green one i really wanted to try it again but to be honest i just don't really need it but if you do need an occasion wear dress and you don't mind it being very low backed um it is low backed for sure and um kind of strapless this halter neck design it just has a small strap that goes around your neck and then it ties at the back 
it's really pretty it's very unique you don't see many dresses in this kind of silhouette and it has been released in a few colors this green really spoke to me but it's also available in an accru and i think in like a burnt red shade as well I thought that was it, but I'm actually wearing one of the pieces today. So this is the Tabata skirt in a new print. This is a Visco skirt. I love the Tabata. I have this one, which is from last year, and I wear this all the time in summer and in winter, I wear it with boots in winter. And I wanted to try another one. Now this one, interestingly, is Visco. So it's a similar floral pattern, even similar colours, to be honest, slightly different. And this one is lined. My original one is not. So I don't know if they've updated it to now have a lining, or if it's just summer lined and summer not, because there are quite a few different varieties of the Tabata skirt. Some of them are also silk as well, although both of mine are viscose. I just love the Tabata skirt. I could definitely see myself collecting Tabata skirts because I find them so easy to wear. As I said, I wear them with boots and a coat and a jumper in the winter. I wear them with a tank top or a blouse and sandals in the summer and both work really well. I think they're a really good skirt if you are curvier because they do come up quite small in the waist but there's plenty of room for the hips. I go for my usual size, a size 40 UK 12 and it fits me really well. Thank you so much for watching today and thank you so much to Jack Gom for sponsoring this video. Again, I will leave the discount code and the link to my bag and their website in general down below if you would like to check them out make sure to use the code if you do place an order thank you so much for watching this video please do follow me on instagram if you'd like to see some daily outfits otherwise i will see you all very soon in my next video bye